Okay, so I want to do a review of a section of Chapter 1 of Magnetic Sponsoring, the book by Mark Billiard. It's an online book right now, so I don't have a hard copy. I'll provide a link to it if you're interested. You get tons of free bonuses, like three or four other books, interviews, and even affiliate program if you wish to do that. But that, all that stuff's for free, so I'll put a link at the end of this. But the first chapter is called Understanding the Source of Personal Attraction. Uh, Mark Dillard is really, really good about uh, you know telling people about what attracts people to other people, why people want to come to you, why people like you, why people want to follow you, why people want to be you. He's done a lot in psychology, and, um, and he's just really good with all this stuff, and he makes millions upon millions of dollars in network marketing, uh, sales, books, everything. He makes a lot of money. So this first part of the chapter is just going to be basic information about what he thinks, what he believes. And uh, he said, in network marketing, in order to be successful, people need to have a mentality of putting time towards their business as much as possible. I realize that most people cannot put a full-time effort into it, but part-time will work as long as you make your part-time effort worth it. So you're going 100% your part-time effort. If you're going 15 hours a week, you're pushing it hard for 15 hours a week, okay? So he says the big money is when you finally commit to going full time. This may be after you've uh, matched your income currently in your business, uh, well, your corporate business or whatever you're doing now, double, triple, quadruple, uh, 10 times, it doesn't matter. But once you hit that full time effort and stride, then you'll make a, a lot of money off of that. In order to be successful, he fully believes, and it is very true, I've noticed this myself, that you have to be a leader. If you if you follow people, rely on other people too much, and never want to get out of your comfort zone, you're never going to make a lot of money. You can make some, but you'll never make a lot of money. He thinks that you should have leads all the time to talk to. And you probably see me post all the time about how to generate leads. Okay? He says, never pay people for leads, but you should provide enough value through information, knowledge, and advice that five to ten leads come to you for your business every day. This takes some time to get to and some dedication, but once you get to it, it's kind of a thing that just goes over and over and over. You put your effort in, so you got to that point, and now it's going to continue over time, as long as you maintain. So he says attraction is not a choice. He said it has a biological and instinctual trigger, and uh, people are found to be attractive or unattractive, based on the value that they can provide. This is very true, so uh, if you think of even in the wild animals, uh, usually the larger, uh, more dominant animals have more value to provide uh, you know, females, because females typically choose males in most cases and uh, in most animals. So a female is gonna choose a male that is more valuable by either, um, it's a smarter animal, so it, it can uh, provide defense that way, can build better nests or whatever it may be. Um, if it's for protection, say lions, they're going to choose the larger, more dominant lion with more testosterone because he has more value to the prize. So the whole objective is to make sure you have the value to provide people. So he says uh, people have a subconscious attraction to others and convey leadership qualities and they have a high level of personal volume. Uh, or personal value. So he says uh, people that are more attractive are those that have the leadership qualities and provide that personal value. And he says if you want to make it big in the network marketing, so then you must actually learn to convey these qualities and show people that you can help them and provide them with a lot of value. Okay, so that's going to be my sum of the first part of chapter one. It's pretty long, but basically all this is it's telling you, you know, put your time in. And make sure that you know what you're doing. You have to know about your business and be knowledgeable and be somebody that somebody trusts and know uh, does the work and uh, is going to be there to help them if they need it. Okay, So step up and be a leader. If you like this, uh, the information I give, once again, just like my email or uh, send me an email to kdblack2012 at yahoo.com. Like, share, or comment on a post or ask me about my professional blog. Thank you.